doesn't grow on trees. Nice work with those supplies. The Smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, but our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Farewell. Make a go with me. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. <coughs> Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste I think so. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might. If your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royale. Pray you're right. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? death your only blessing you speak for andraste no what does the maker's prophet have to say about all of this what's his game i speak for no one but myself and i have no answers for you you probably don't even worship the maker lucky he asks a lot the chantry teaches that the maker abandoned us he demands repentance for our sins he demands it all our lives our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. The Inquisition cannot remain in Basel. If she can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How do I your land Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement.
Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meantime. Do the Duhillions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Duhillions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after their departure. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. I'm glad for your help. I have a feeling the Inquisition is going to need it. I do believe you are correct. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. It's odd to see them accepting a mage as their hero, especially a Dalish elf. One look at your face and it's clear you were never part of a circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. We will study that. If you find anything, then please. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. I'll speak with you later. Thank you again for what you've brought back. If you find anything, please bring it in. My scouts still comb the hills for clues about the explosion. I'll take what I can find.
Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. <laughs> <laughs>